Now we're going to get a little bit more in-depth to redstone, where we're going to talk about redstone gates. Redstone gates are called logic gates, and they're used to create logic in an electronic circuit. The first gate we have here is the OR gate. Now we have an output, which will be a door that it's sending output to. Our output will be to the door, and we have our inputs A and B. Now, redstone, this is simple. It's just basically two wires meeting up at one place, and then one wire out. Two wires in, one wire out. No fancy wiring or anything. That's called an OR gate. Now, an OR gate stands for whenever A or B are true, output is true. That means if both of them, that means they, it also works. Just so long as one side is powered, then there will be output. That's the OR gate. The next gate we're going to make is the AND gate. Now the AND gate is made like this. Now we have our inputs A and B and our single output. Generally all um, logical gates have two inputs and one output with a very few very few exceptions. Now, AND gate, when input A and input B are true, output is true. Only when both are true. If any one of them is not true, then the output will not be true. Now, if I'll get another shot of this so you can see how to make it. It's pretty simple. Um, also, we have the NOT gate. This is the exception I was talking about to the two input, one output. This one has one input, one output. And what this is also known as is a signal inverter. If you remember in the basics, I said that when power is given to a block that redstone torch is attached to, the redstone torch will change. So here we have a signal inverter. Input A is true, output is false. Input A is false, output is true. It's just a signal inverter. Another thing I will show you is called a signal stretcher. It's basically two inverters built into one so that it does not invert. This was the old way to stretch a signal before the use of redstone repeaters. I'm going to show you it anyway because it still works. Some people prefer, the, prefer this. Honestly, don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a signal stretcher. Input, it's also known as a buffer. Input true, output true. Input false, output false. Simple. Now, um, a slightly more complicated gate known as the XOR, or exclusive OR gate. If you can see that, sorry if I'm going too fast. Now, redstone here and here, 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 and here. Now, this has two inputs and one output. Exclusive stands exclusive or or X or stands for when A and B or are exclusively different, then the output will be true. I don't know if you can understand that. Basically, when output A and B are different, then you, when I mean when input A and B are different, then your output will be true. When input A and B are the same, your output will be false. Now, there is a inverted version of every single gate, which is simply invert the gate. You can invert the gate by placing an inverter. In this case, I'm just going to make it directly onto that gate. And they become a different gate. Now, the OR gate right here is now a NOR gate, which all it does is the exact opposite. If any one of them are powered, then the output will be false. And then we have the NAND gate, which is the opposite of an AND gate which means when they are both on then the output will be false and then we have the buffer which is already basically the inverted form of a NOT gate there is no NOT is an inverter so then we can do the XNOR gate which is exclusive NOR and that is whenever the inputs are the same the output will be true just the opposite of an XOR gate Sorry if I'm going too fast. 
It's just the opposite of an X or gate. Whenever both inputs are true, output will be true. And that is the basic gates of redstone wiring. These are called logic gates in electronic circuit. It's also known as digital wiring. In addition to the logic gates, there is also one other uh, circuit used a lot called the RS NOR latch. And all you do is you build two NOT gates in this shape right here. And then you place redstone from the torch to the block on either side, like this. It creates a little square. Now, you have input A, input B, output A, output B. Okay? Now, when input A is clicked, output A will be true. When input B is pressed, output B will be true. Now, whenever you switch the output, uh, I mean, whenever I click the input A, output A will be true, and output B will be false. If I click input B, output B will be true, output A will be false. It switches polarity depending on which input it receives. It's called the RS NOR latch. And it can be used to, it's also used as a locking mechanism for doors. I'll explain in a second. Here we have a door, and here would be our open, close, just like that, open, close, and that's the RS-NOR latch.